Hey everybody, thank you for coming to check me out. If you are new here, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller and I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms. I am doing my weekly What Sold video. I put these videos out every Friday and let you know what I sold across all of the different platforms that I sell on. So if you like reseller content, I do What Sold videos, mystery unboxings on Sundays and thrift hauls on Tuesdays. Be sure to give me a follow and a like on this video. And we're just gonna get right into it. It is like 6.50 in the morning on Friday. I'm really tired, but my husband left at like 5.50 in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep. Our garage is right below our bedroom and he was driving his Camaro today, which is loud. <laughs> and so it's like, if I'm not in a deep sleep, that usually wakes me up. So I was like, why not just get up and get some work done? Ryan and I have a dentist appointment this morning at nine and then we're actually gonna go to the bins here in Omaha, I've only went a couple times before and like it's pretty small compared to other ones that I've seen, especially for clothes. Um, but I think they might have decent shoes and like random stuff. So we're just gonna go for fun. He's been wanting to go just to look for like random stuff for himself. So I thought, why not? So if I find anything good, I'll have to put that in Tuesday's video. So I guess come back and check. Um, I only have one thread up, no, two thread up sales. Two thread up sales, still not able to print out any clean out labels. One was a Maury Lee by Madeline Gardner cocktail dress. It sold for $305.99. I got a payout of $171.36. At least I hope I do. I hope that doesn't get returned. This is like why I really wish I could keep sending stuff into there. Next was a Michael Michael Kors leather wristlet. Sold for $120.99. And I got a payout of $77.68. So just a few sales there, but they're both really good ones. I just actually did a couple cash outs from my ThreadUp accounts um, around, I think around three or $400. And that was after I used a bunch of credit to order some rescue boxes. So I just keep checking every week and see if they let me print out more clean out labels. They're still not, I'm still gonna keep trying. Let me see if there was anything that I sold in Facebook Marketplace. I'm gonna guess not because I haven't been renewing my listings. I've just still been so busy with volleyball. Uh, next week on Tuesday is my junior high kids last game. So that will help a little bit. They practice three days a week. Yeah, I didn't sell anything on there. Um, yeah, so my life will get less busy fairly soon. And then high school will still go through probably the third week in October. Boys will go all the way through October. So about one more month of kind of crazy busy and then it'll slow down and I think I can focus a little bit more on my reselling business. Let's move on to Mercari. I sold this torrid yellow floral crisscross tank top for $15. This sold very quickly. I just got it cheap at a thrift store, I think. No, that came to me in a flip lot actually. So I sold it really quickly. That's great. Next were these pair of Fry leather ankle black strappy shoes. These sold for $32. These came to me in a thread up rescue shoe box. So that was actually a pretty good one. I sold this Madewell Green Leather Simple Crossbody for $68. This sold fairly quickly. It was new with tags and that came to me from a flip lot. This next item was from a ThreadUp Activewear box, which is the first time I've ever gotten one of those rescue boxes. I will put the video up here if you wanna watch it. Um, ended up being pretty good. These Gymshark leggings sold for 21. I am pricing them lower in order to move them quickly because they're just not selling for as much or as quickly as they used to if I price them too high. So I'm fine with that. And then just this morning, I sold this Lauren Rob Lauren Green Burnout Top. This was in a plus size and it sold for $25, I think. Yes, $25. Let's move on to Poshmark. I heard something from Poshfest. I kind of made a funny post yesterday on Instagram that like you could never pay me to go to Poshfest. And it's like pretty true. First of all, like no matter what, I don't like big parties or like big crowds. Like I hate going to weddings unless it's somebody I know super, super well. I don't like to go to big like fundraising events. Like, ugh, it's just not my thing. Plus, I'm just like, no. I feel like there's just too many people trying to be friends and fake and I don't know. Like I know there's probably some nice people. Like I know there's some resellers that I really get along with, but I'm just like, that just sounds like torture. I could spend my money much better somewhere else. I know I can get all of the information for free from people who went there on Instagram and YouTube anyway. I did hear that Poshmark said something about they're gonna go back to their old search, which hopefully is good because once they changed it, like whenever that was, maybe in the late winter or spring, sales like went to crap. Um, so I hope 
that it changes back to how things used to be. And I know even like when I'm trying to search up comps for something, it's really bad. Like stuff won't even pop up. So we'll see how that changes. This is also from the 23rd to the 30th, if I didn't already say that. So let me just go into my Poshmark sales. First, I sold this vintage Abercrombie & Fitch 90s Y2K wool Fair Isle sweater. It was in a size medium and it sold for $25. Next were a pair of just black dark wash high rise flare jeans in a size 31. These sold for $34. I sold these black heels. They were just apartment nine, but my friend gave them to me with a bunch of other things that she didn't want anymore instead of taking them to a consignment store. So I'm splitting the profit with her on things 50-50. They sold for 11. Next was a Nike hoodie. This was a cutoff hoodie. It was a boys. It came to me when I first flip lot and it was kind of a crappy item and I sold it for $5. So I'm starting to get rid of almost everything from my first flip lots. I just kind of took whatever I could get just to order to like build up my sales and so people could see like I knew what I was doing. Um, next was a Duluth trading stretch knee length dress in a size extra small. This sold for $21. I sold these Madewell Eleanor loafers. These were mules size five. They sold for $25. Next was a Patagonia jacket. This was a lightweight black jacket. It just had Patagonia across the chest, not the logo. Sold very quickly for $28. Next was the brand Majestic Filatures. I've sold this brand before for decent money. This came in a flip lot from one of my first ones. It finally sold for $12. Sometimes that brand can be good. This time it just wasn't selling at the price I had it at originally, so I just kept lowering the price. Next was an Athleta gray long sleeve top. It was kind of an off shoulder. Sold within a day for $10. I sold this Ann Taylor ruffle tweed jacket size 12 tall. That sold for $25. Next was the brand Nisolo. I think that's how you say it. I got three pairs of shoes from this brand from a flip client and they all sold super quick and they were all in a size five. So I feel like if something in a size five is selling really quick, it must be like a really good brand. So be on the lookout. I don't know if I said this last week, but definitely look for this brand because it does sell really well. These were some off-white shoes, sneakers. They sold for $47. You'll see another sale from this same brand down below here soon. I sold these Sorel Boys boots. These actually came from Keegan, I think, a long time ago when we did a swap box. And they sold for $17. I really want to do swap boxes again. I just don't have time to, like, source for anything else but myself right now. So, like, after November... I will definitely be doing those again. Next was a Ted Baker shirt, white, extra small, three quarter sleeve, sold for 18. Here's that brand Nisolo again. And these were the dairy boots, um, just a suede tan pair of boots and they sold for $56. Next was a pair of Anthropology joggers. I just had these recently in a haul video and they sold very quickly for $25. Next is a really sad case and it's actually still under review by Poshmark. So we'll see what they do about it. I sold these Merry Mushroom canisters and an Out From Under JoJo Thermal for $100. I packaged these things up like ridiculously well. I don't usually sell hard goods, but I packaged each canister, like put stuff inside, all around the outside, every lid. I packed it in the box so tight that nothing can move and it still came and it was cracked. And I feel really bad, but like Poshmark is reviewing it. They said they requested for more photos. The buyer even was like, saying like, yeah, it was packaged really well. So like USPS, I guess is really rough. I don't know what I could have done to prevent that. If you guys sell hard goods and you have like better ideas for shipping like really breakable things, let me know some tips. It would be great if Poshmark just like gave her some money back and maybe me too, but I don't, I mean, not me too, released my money. Just because like both of us have said like it was packaged really well but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, next was a bundle of two J. Crew vests. It was a black and maroon color. They were in a size extra large and they sold together for $38. I sold these Ugg boots for $30. These were in a size five girls and they came to me in a thread up shoe rescue box. So that was a great sale. Next was a We the Free purple military jacket in a size zero that sold for $29. I sold these Joseph Seibel brown leather slip-on clogs. I think these came in a thread up box or I possibly tried to send them to thread up. I can't remember. They sold for $15. Next was a pair of Lululemon green speed up shorts. They only sold for 17. These came damaged in a flip lot and I still was able to sell them for $17. So 
I guess if you find like popular styles of Lululemon and they're like have a little flaw, go ahead and still list them. Next is a pair of Spanx high rise slimming shorts. These were in a size small and they sold for $17. I sold this Eddie Bauer men's goose down ski puffer coat for $38. Next were a pair of Tom's boots. These came to me also, I think, in a Thread Up Shoe Rescue Box. Sold for $17. This Catherine's top sold very, very quickly. It wasn't a size 4X. I feel like my 4X and 5X usually sell within a few days. Sold for $15. I paid like $3. So I'm like, a lot of those little sales, and that's what's happening on eBay, you'll see. Selling things for less with running a sale, but I'm making more money. Like my 90 days my 90 day sales total on eBay at the top just keeps going up. So it's working. Uh, next was a pair of Madewell sandals. I picked these up at a thrift store a couple weeks ago. They sold for $20 very quickly. I sold these Chloe Lauren scalloped snake effect leather point toe flats for $48. And that's it. So Poshmark was like, okay, but honestly, like kind of slow. eBay was still amazing. My 25% off sale did run out this week. But since it was working so well, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to run another sale. This time I just moved it down to 20. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Although a lot of my sales, people are sending me like maybe a little lower than the sale price, but I'm still just accepting them because almost always I'm making profit. So if you guys have a store, I've had a couple people ask me on Instagram. It's really easy. Um, I have the base, basic store, I think. So I don't pay that much a month, maybe $5 a month. But you just go into your promotions tab and you can create a promotion. You can do it however you want. You can do like $10 off. You can set limits for like things only under $50. You can do percentage off, all kinds of stuff. So go ahead and just explore that. Um, I'm just telling you for me, I'm making more money on eBay. As you can see right now, my total is 11337 That's my 90 day total. And before I started running this sale, I couldn't get it past $10,000. So I'm definitely making more money. First sale on eBay, Coach Lori Leather Booty. These were $250 retail. They came from Plato's Closet. I paid $25 for them and they sold for $65. Next was an Aloe Yoga Long Sleeve Tie Waist Crop Top. This came to me in that Thread Up Activewear box. It was damaged with a hole in the back. I sold it for $11.90. I sold it for $9.52. Next was a Toad & Co. black white printed long sleeve dress. I just listed this last night. I didn't end up getting my items cross listed to Poshmark or Mercari yet. And it sold before I could. It sold for $40. Next was an Anthropology Pilcrow and a letterpress flannel top. I also just listed this a couple of days ago. It sold for $24.88. Next was this Patagonia black short sleeve dress. I had this for kind of quite a while and it sold for $18.48. Next was a pair of Maria Christina brown leather heels. I would have never picked these up. They came to me in a Thread Up Rescue box and it sold for $10. This Prana dress I also just listed last night too. Have not cross listed yet. Sold for $26.16. Next was an Anthropology Saturday Sunday Eyelet Cardigan Sweater. I just listed this a couple of days ago. It sold for $19.76. So with those ones that are ending in those weird numbers, that's when they're buying it with that 20% off sale. Next was a BKE buckle slim fit red long sleeve button up shirt sold for $15.28. Next was a pair of Vince Camuto heels. These also came in a Thread Up Shoe Rescue box sold for $13. I sold this Free People Beach teal ruffle top long sleeve extra small oversize that sold for $20.00. That also sold within a couple of days. Lots of like quick sales. Next was a few pair of soft surroundings jeans. Um, I've had these for kind of a little while, so I was willing to let them go cheap. The first pair sold for 16. They were a relaxed fit straight leg. Next was a little bit of a lighter wash boot cut. They sold for 12. And then a pair of black medium metro leggings. They sold for 24. All different buyers though, which was weird because the sales all came in like at the same time. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, next was a pair of Nao shoes. These were black leather slip on comfort shoes. They did not have the insole. I've had them for quite a while. They sold for $19. I sold this ASOS black faux leather skirt in a size 10 for 15. Next was a pair of little girls Birkenstocks. They were pink sparkle 
Birkenstock sandals, and they sold for $24.53. I sold this Hayden Brown 100% Cashmere Dolman Sleeve Sweater. This was in a size medium large, and it sold for $28. Next was a North Face Gray Furlander Vest, size medium. This was super soft, and it sold for $35. I sold these Tory Burch black suede moccasins. These came to me in a flip lot and they sold for $45.53. Next was a Ming Wang beige tan fringe casual open cardigan blazer. Lots of keywords, plus size 2X, sold for $28. I sold these J. Crew denim shorts. I definitely would not have picked these up at a thrift store. They came in a flip box, one of my first ones. They were like a low rise, just not the best style. They sold for $8.33, and that's with free shipping. Uh, next is a pair of Athleta gray lined city joggers. These were in a size zero, and they sold for $20. I sold these Zaya Active crop light and tight black white striped leggings for $15. Crop leggings just are not selling for me that much anymore, but I'll still pick them up if they're a good brand. Next was a pair of Clark's Danily. Espadrille shoes. These were from Flip. They sold for $22.13. I sold these Nike snow boots. They were not like, they were really like flimsy, flexible, almost like a puffer jacket material. So not like a really good pair of snow boots, I don't feel like. I had these for a really long time, definitely over last winter. Um, they sold for $18.53. Next, I don't know how to say this brand because it kind of seems French maybe. La Garçon Modern? I don't know. I found this at that one random little thrift store with the staple tags, and I found a whole bunch of good brands. This sold super quickly for $35. It said it was made in Japan. Some of the comps were higher than that, but I got an offer in like an hour, and I paid like $3 for it, so I just took it. This item came from that same store as well. It was an Eileen Fisher Merino Wool Boat Neck Sweater in a size extra large. It sold super quick for $30. Next were a pair of Spanx leggings. These were like an active kind of style in a size 1X, and they sold for 20. Next was a Susan Monaco pink skirt. It was a size 6. This came to me in a flip lot, and it sold for $14.93. I sold those Chaco black leather sandals, good for hiking outdoor trail. Those are all keywords I will put for Chacos, and they sold for $32, women's size 9. Next was a Nike black half zip pullover jacket, medium. This sold for $10. This came to me in a flip lot. I wouldn't pick that up normally. I sold these Nacho Daughters jeans, Barbara bootcut jeans. These were in a size four and they sold for $18.50. Next was a pair of Lauren Ralph Lauren brown leather heels, size nine. I think these came from my flip lot or possibly a thread out box. They sold for $24. Foundry men's big and tall green short sleeve shirt. This came to me in a flip lot. Sold for $11.33. I sold these Athleta Black High Rise Chaturanga Wide Leg Pants. These were in a size medium. I did put Y2K in the title, and they sold for $24. Beta Brand Straight Leg Classic Dress Yoga Pants in a size large sold for $20. American Eagle Dark Wash High Rise Jeggings in a size 4 sold for $16. My cat just got really scared. Oh, I think my dog's... <laughs> Ellie's outside at the window by the patio, and the cat was like, it's still dark out. Why am I awake? Um, Keen men's boots. This actually, I did go to the bins for like half an hour while my son was in welding, and I found these there, and they were super beat up, and I still sold them really quick. Um, they were in a men's size 13, and I sold them for $24.53. Uh, Catherine's black white top 5X sold for $20. Again, the bigger sizes sell quick. Michael Starr's blue glitter three-quarter sleeve top. This top was horrendously ugly. It, if you bought it, I'm sorry. Okay, that was mean. It was just not it. It sold for $12. That came in a flip lot. I would never buy that. Uh, BKE Buckle Men's Aiden Jeans. These were in a size 27. So either like a boy or like a really, really skinny guy. Sold for $22.73. Next were a new pair of Clark boots. These came to me in a big flip lot with a whole bunch of new with box Clarks. They sold for $48.53. I sold these fossil boots for only $20. This was through the International Global Shipping Program. I've had these for a super long time. I will take offers and I will move items. Next was a Pink Victoria Secret black pullover hoodie. This came in a flip lot. I don't really pick up this brand and it sold for $13. 
Next was a pair of Not Your Daughter's Jeans Alina Leggings. These were in a size 12 and they were pink. They sold for $18.53. I sold this Robert Graham purple striped long sleeve top for $20. Usually I pick up this brand in men's. I found it in women's, so I thought I would give it a try. It didn't move very fast, but it did sell for $20. So not great profit, but you probably could still make money because it's decently expensive. Okay, and that's it. That's it for eBay. As you can see, lots of sales again. So let me know like below if you've ever run a sale on your eBay store and how it went for you. Um, I will check in with you guys Sunday. I have like five or six thread up rescue boxes to unbox. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going in less than a month now to Universal and Disney. Hopefully I can try to like be prepared ahead of time and pre-record videos and schedule them for you guys because I know that YouTube doesn't like it when you don't stay consistent. So really hoping to do that. I'm seeing like the sunrise coming outside and it's really pretty. Maybe I'll show you guys and we can go see Ellie. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you didn't yet, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys again soon. Let's go find Ellie and let's go look at my backyard view. My room, my recently room's actually pretty clean. There's a cat back there. Hi, Whiskers. She's hiding. There is Ellie. Look at her. Oh, the door is locked. Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, you're being a good girl. Look at you. Are you going in? Let me close this door. Let's see if you can see. It's starting to get really pretty. Out. Is this picking it up? Oh, yeah. Super pretty. I love my new house. It was just saying the other day, like, I'm so glad we moved. Okay, guys, I will talk to you soon.